Welcome to the HotHotSoftware.com tutorial on how to find and replace text in multiple files. Now generally speaking when you want to replace text you would be looking for specifically text files. If you do try and change binary files, for example uh, programs that you run or movies or something along those lines, it may not work correctly. However for text documents and things such as HTML documents, perhaps for web pages, the software works great. Uh, to get started, I'll do an example. Let's add a file and let's start with the tutorial. Um, this is the actual tutorial that the software uses right here. Uh, anyways, if I wanted to see what I was going to uh, search and then replace, I would open this as an example so you can see hothotsoftware.com, string, replace, text, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, as an example, what I'll do is I will then add the items I want to find and replace or search and replace. And let's start off with the word string and then let's type in QQQ and then save that. Now the cool thing is you can also have multiple items uh, so I could also have hot hot software and then I could also say a website and replace it with that uh, and so forth and then click on save. Another cool thing is this also uh, does support regular expressions so for example you can find dates, email addresses and so forth. This is usually for more advanced users uh, or people that have used Unix systems and so forth but what a regular expression is is it's complicated pattern matching but for now we'll just stick with simple stuff which is we want to find this string, replace it with this, find this string and then replace it with this. So we have the expressions we want to find and replace and then all you do is you cl simply click on the do it now button and then if I load in uh, that file and I'll just open it here again uh, you can see that where we had string is now replaced with QQQ and where this used to be hothotsoftware.com it's now replaced with a website. So the cool thing is this software will make all those replacements. If you had more than one file you would simply click on the add file button and add more files. Uh, if you wanted to add particular files by a certain type, for example all text files, just simply click on this button and it would start off at this directory. If you wanted to find all files within the subfolders, click on this button right here. Um, now sometimes you might not want to uh, overwrite your existing files or just to be on the safe side you might want to have it as a new extension for example if you had important documents or you made a mistake or something along those lines. So you would make sure this was unchecked and then any files that would just simply call dot new. Um, if you wanted to put all files into a particular directory, let's say you had business documents but didn't want to manually put them in one directory, this function will automatically let you do that and then of course you'd click on the browse folders. Um, anyways, this software is very easy to use and helps you find and replace what you want. It's a very powerful tool and I recommend trying it out. Thanks.